Oh, hello. I'm Greg, and I'm going to be showing you the trombone today. The trombone is one of the oldest unchanged of the brass instruments. Dating from 1492, we have portraits from Italy of angels playing what was then known as a sacbut, which comes from the, the Spanish sacabouche, which means push-pull. And that's because the trombone added the slide. And that was, enables the trombone to get all the other pitches. As you may know, brass instruments without in one length get what you call an overtone series, like a bugle. This gives you a very limited number of songs, but they could be handled handy for signaling people. So the early brass instruments were limited to just the overtone series. A lot of times they acted like drums or like timpanis in an orchestra where they would just hit the big moments. The other, the first way they thought of, of getting all the notes was playing really high because when you get on the, the high harmonics, they get really close together. As you'll notice, the first far harmonics are far apart. And then they get closer together, higher up. So the Baroque trumpet is actually as long as a trombone. And they play things like this. Which I could barely do because it's so high. So how am I going to get the rest of the notes? Someone got the smart idea of getting two metal tubes so they'd slide all over. And then that makes it so you can lengthen the instrument. And when we lengthen the instrument, the sounds get lower. So that gives me, instead of one bugle, it gives me seven. When the trombone was invented, it was used to accompany choirs. And, and, with, and it was the Renaissance at the time. They, they were also used in processional instruments. We know from history that there were trombone players that accompanied Fernando Cortez in his conquest of Mexico. And that's 1528, roughly. As the Renaissance ended and the classical era came up, the trombones fell out of favor, but remained with the choirs. And so they were mainly used in church music. I'll play a little piece by Wagner, which is called the Pilgrim's Chorus, to give you an example. The trombone did not make the cut into the classical orchestra. It was considered too sacred to be used in such secular music. But when opera composers like Gluck and Mozart wanted to invoke a sacred space, they used trombones, like the Gluck did in Orphe, which is Orpheus, in the underworld. And so as or when Orpheus descends into Hades, there's a trombone tr trio. And the same with the magic flute. When the high priest of Osiris shows up, 
he's accompanied with trombones. Later, composers like Berlioz would use the trombone in the same way. In, in the Symphony Fantastique, Berlioz uses the trombones to play the Dies Irae, which is the traditional Gregorian chant used in a funeral service. <laughs> can play fun music too. <laughs> the nice thing about the trombone is you get this lovely slide. And this was used by composers like Henry Fillmore. thing about playing an instrument is it gives you an introduction into music of the world and I and throughout my career I have been able to travel to India and to Mexico through my music and and been able to play music even though we don't know each other's languages we can play music together and I have friends that have moved up from Oaxaca a state in Mexico and they wanted to do their traditional dances. So I'm going to play you a little traditional Oaxacan tune now. <laughs> trombone player because I wanted to play drums and my fifth grade band teacher said well you got to do a year of another instrument and I was like oh shoot I want to play drums and but my mother played trombone in high school so we had an old trombone in the closet and I picked it up and I was a natural and I had a lot of fun with it my private teacher used to beg she'd know I'd go into my lessons and she knew I didn't practice. And so she would try to embarrass me. She'd put the music down in front of me and say, well, this is what you were supposed to learn for this week. And I'd sight read it almost perfectly. And she would be so mad. 
she go, if you ever practiced, you'd be good. <laughs> and then I started practicing, and I got really good. But the nice thing about music is I started on trombone, and now I play tuba and sousaphone, and I'm having a great time playing in a, in a Mexican banda, Banda Vagos. Uh, you may have seen me at quinceañeras or bodas. And, um, and it's, the wonderful thing about music is it translates to any instrument. I have a friend who was a great alto clarinet player in high school, and he moved to England and became a great punk rock guitarist and was in a, one of the chart-topping bands for four years in the UK in the mid-80s. And that was the same music that he learned with a band instrument translated into guitar or, or other instruments. So learning any instrument gives you an, an introduction to all instruments. And, and learning music is something you'll, nev you'll never regret. <laughs>